G'day viewers, this is Troy from Troy's Visual Arts Channel. You are looking at me through the eye of a vintage National WV3300N Viticon Tube colour camera from the mid 1970s. Yes, this is a very old camera I picked up today from a tech friend of mine who lives locally. Yeah, he, he acquired this camera along, along with a couple of other old cameras from a deceased estate. This camera um, yeah, is quite a nice camera. It makes quite nice video, um, colour pictures, although the reds are a bit off. Um, I've sort of done some colour adjustments to get the best possible colour pictures um, going by my colour bar chart there. And yeah, like, like with many other old um, colour cameras of the era, um, the reds tend to sort of go towards magenta hue, um, which is, yeah, a common thing. But anyway, um, yeah, talking about this camera, I actually bought um, the same model of camera a few years ago off eBay, uh, which was, um, it powered up, but it didn't produce a picture. But... Yeah, I'm happy today to get a working example of this camera. Anyway, um, yeah, I've actually got my other camera right here, which is what, which is the sort of camera that you're looking at me uh, through the eye of. Um, yeah, this is what the camera looks like without the lens. I've got the associated equipment and lens sitting on the table. So I thought I'd show you it without the lens. Um, this camera, the actual glass um, block is actually fogged up, which is half the problem. Why well, it wasn't producing a picture, but even when I removed the block, it didn't make any pictures anyways. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to um, put this camera together, just to show you how it looks in its completed form. Just going to... screw the lens on. It uses a zoom R lens, a 1 to uh, ratio of 1 to 1.9 and um, 16 to 100 millimeter and V6 times 16 that's what it says on the lens. Um, anyway this is how the camera looks in its completed form quite a cool looking vintage camera that's the front of it and of course uh, it comes with its associated camera control unit which um, has a light selector which you can select the different um, the different sorts of pictures you can get for different lighting um, you've got on here selection for indoor light uh, you got the selection for white light daylight and and um, flood light and you've also got color balance controls for for the red channel and the uh, blue channel. I had to do a bit of fiddling around with those adjustments to get the color on that camera to look half decent um, for this video. But anyway it makes it makes quite nice colors uh, for its age. I mean the camera was made around somewhere, I'd say, 1976 to sometime in the late 70s. I got the date off, um, off Richard Deal's Lab Guy site. He's got a um, WV3320, which, which has started to date around that period. Um, that's uh, probably one model up from mine, I'm guessing. Anyway, um, yeah, so yeah, this is how the, the camera looks and it's uh, camera control units. 
and um, on the back of it is supposed to be an AC adapter but I've got it hooked up to the camera that I've got switched on filming me at present anyway um, I'm gonna run the camera around the bedroom just show you the, uh, the camera control unit this camera's hooked up to the AC adapter is right at the back there try and focus it in it's a bit too close to focus but anyway that's the uh, camera adapter at the back yeah, might as well film around the bedroom as you can see with old Viticon colour cameras you get that lag characteristic I've got the lens wide open um, it's not very sensitive in low light um, I've got the lens to set to 1.9 uh, I can lower it down at uh, 16 you've got pretty much hardly any picture at all and you know in low lighting the colour hues are not very nice it's best to have it at maximum for maximum performance that's how the that's how the colour looks on the colour bar chart it's not too bad except the reds are um, hued towards magenta as mentioned and I've got my Play-Doh sitting up there of um, rainbow colours and yeah, the colour doesn't actually look too good on the oranges it looks pink and um, the reds of course look magenta-ish and yeah, pink looks pink <laughs> so yeah it's not perfect in terms of colour but still looks good and has that nice retro feel to it and yeah, my room's a total mess as it always is got me uh, photographic camera gear there uh, got, I've just piled all my stuff on my bed got a bunch of various things and got my TV set on and still a bit of visual feedback for a bit of fun like with any other tube camera you've got a nice you can get some nice visual feedback effects Up in the corner there I've got me old Philips M1700 VCR and on top of there I've got a bunch of old Super 8 video uh, Super 8 cartridges which I've used for various filming which I home process in black and white myself using coffee vitamin C and washing soda we, and I've got very de varying degrees of success with them um, most of them made pictures except for the Kodachrome 2 double eight roll films they are troublesome anyway it's a new hobby I've gotten into as you would have seen in my YouTube videos I've got some vintage medium format Kodak films from the early 50s the Verachrome turn up pictures but the Super XX yeah, barely turn up anything at all talking about random stuff that I've done over time yeah that's my trusty good luck balloon that thing has not developed not deflated over the past four years <laughs> I got that when I left my old job. Still retains its air. And of course, the reflection from the light is burning the tube temporarily. I'd say the pictures in this camera look quite similar to that of the National WV. P100M camera which 
you know, was made a Satacon type made in the early 1980s, which is hidden in that box up there. You can see its viewfinder. So it's pretty much a similar type of picture. Again, sitting on the table, the camera that I'm filming with. It's cool to have two examples of the same camera so you can, you can pull it up and show it on the camera that you're using. There, of course, is more VCRs, some VHS units, my Sync Pulse generator I use for my older Vidicon cameras. It's my DVD recorder which I am recording this video to. Of course I've got it hooked via my via a VHS VCR so I don't get any DC offset voltage going to this DVD recorder. And there's its and in record mode. And there's another Philips M1700. That was that's the one that's Pretty much working, at least the last time I powered it up, and I've used and I've transferred many a N1 center tape off it. And another VCR on top, and got my um, media player, um, DVD player, and media player. I can plug USBs into that and play video off it. In behind that's my green screen for chroma key effects. I might actually pull that out and and do a bit of a chroma key test with this camera. See how well it works. Anyway, that's my tour of my messy bedroom. <laughs> Anyway, time to wrap up the video. So yeah, this is my very first video made from this, from my newly acquired vintage National WV3300 in Vidicon Tube Color Camera, made around the mid 70s. Hope you enjoyed this video. This is Troy from Troy's Digital Arts Channel, signing out.